Hey guys, this is a Jordan review of the free Android app Vlingo Voice. Vlingo is a paid app on the iPhone and WebOS and uh, Symbian side, but they released this free on Android because Google, I think, because Google announced that their Google Voice commands are free. But the good thing about this is that this runs on Android 2.0 on up, but the Google Voice commands only runs on 2.2. So I don't have version 2.2, so this is the only thing that I can run that has this type of feature set, and it's a really, really good app. So let's see what it can do. So you install it from the market, and I'll be putting in the the uh, codes that you can shoot with your barcode scanners. I got a note in the comments for that, so we'll start including that. So once you've got it installed, you see that you've got this slider here that gives you tips on what you can do. But uh, we're just going to go through the tutorial here, and by clicking on what can I say, and these are all the different options that you have. So let's go one by one. So first is Super Dialer. <coughs> Excuse me. I added a fake contact and it, it uh, indexed it instantly. So you no longer have to wait uh, a significant amount of time like previous devices when you add a contact. These uh, contacts are available immediately for uh, use in voice activation apps. So I put a fake contact, Richard Hunt, and you can just say call Richard Hunt. I only have one number for him, but if I had multiple, you could say call Richard Hunt Mobile or call Richard Hunt Work and so forth. <coughs> Sorry guys, a little cold here. Call Richard Hunt. And there we go, my fake contact. And if I let it go, it's actually gonna start dialing him, which I will end. All right, Super Dialer works pretty uh, well for calling businesses. It uses your geolocation, so if you just say call taxi, for example. Call taxi. It's gonna use geolocation to look up taxis near you. So in this case, it should find taxis in Honolulu. And there you go. Very, very cool. Uh, you could even say, um, for example, I don't know if this will work, but we'll try it. Call Safeway Antioch, California. I don't even know if there's a Safeway there, but uh, let's see. Yeah, there is on Deer Valley Road. One click away from calling these um, businesses. <clears throat> so that's the super dialer. Text message is uh, same thing. You just say text and the um, person you want to text it to and say the message. So let's just text Richard Hunt. Text Richard Hunt, will you be coming by? Question mark. You see it does support punctuation. So let's see if it picked it up. So Richard Hunt, will you be coming by? Question mark. So let's go back to Vlingo. Okay. All right. Um, search. Search is uh, just uses Google. So you could say things like weather in Tallahassee, Florida. And there we go. 88 degrees. Or things like define recidivism. And there we go, a tendency to relapse. Uh, you can do things like, um, oh yeah, they have here Google population of Portugal and so forth, very powerful. Open apps, the one I find useful here is launch calculator. go calculator launched okay local search we already did some of that you can hey sorry for the jumpy video but I had to uh, take a quick call there so I think I showed you can do things like mapping so map of Cambridge Massachusetts and so forth and that works really nice you can Twitter so just say Twitter and then what you want to tweet and that works really good there goes the rooster I get comments about that too uh, email works pretty well too. Um, you just say email, the person name, so we could do a, an email to Richard Hunt. The nice thing here is you can say email Richard Hunt subject, whatever your subject, message, whatever you message, and it works beautifully. So that's it on the um, what you can do by voice. They have this other feature called Safe Reader. And what Safe Reader does is if you enable it, as you get email or text, it can speak them out to you. So 
if you use that in combination, you can listen to incoming text uh, messages when you're driving and then speak them back. Uh, I don't think you want to do that, but I'm guessing that's why this feature was built. So if you look at the options here, we can see what options you have there. Safe reader settings. <coughs> Excuse me. Shake to skip. You can play your incoming email, which you have to s configure, and play your incoming text. I tested that. works pretty well. Not a feature I'd use, but still it's there. Uh, on the general settings, you got things like auto dial and um, confident, and you can hide offensive words and use your location and auto punctuation and so forth. So that's it. This is a fantastic app, and I'm I'm surprised that it's free. So if you've got an Android 2.0 or 2.1 device, I would suggest you grab this and give it a spin. Hope this has been helpful.